We're back at MuscleWorks Gym in Enfield, London with champion trainer Sab. You know, if you've got shallow rib cage and long arms and narrow shoulders, bench press is probably the worst exercise to do. Today's focus is on exercises that you should avoid or to always include depending on your body type. So a squat exercise for this type of physique is perfect. It's not as strong as say somebody that's an endomorph which basically has thicker joints, thicker bones. See, I can see, I can see it actually working. You've never been like um, skinny, have you? The gentleman over there standing now. I'm gonna ask you a question now. Why did you do so many reps? Ectum of people shouldn't really do too much heavy squats. Welcome to another episode of the gym at uh, my muscle works gym in uh, Enfield. Today we're going to talk about body types and uh, each body type requires slightly different exercises uh, to achieve the maximum muscle growth. So basically we have ectomorph, mesomorph and endomorph. I will explain each one what it is and which type of exercise we should be doing for each body type. You're training legs, yeah? Yep. Okay, come out, come out so I can show you. Basically we're talking about different body types mm -hmm. that require slightly different type of training, certain exercises. If you're a certain body type, you shouldn't do or you should do. I mean, for you, you're probably the perfect, what I would call mesomorph, which means you have wide shoulders, narrow hips, yeah. the balance between your torso and your legs, the, the length of the tibia and the fibia are equal. So that creates, I mean, now he's doing legs. So a squat exercise for this type of physique is perfect. The only problem with mesomorphs is that Maybe the hip area, because it's narrower, they have to be careful not to overdo the weight because the back is not as strong as, say, somebody that's an endomorph. Oh, you're doing legs. Yeah, do a set of squats for me, the way you do it. As you can see, the movement is correct, is full. There's no bouncing, no explosiveness. So basically, 99% of the movement is going straight onto his muscles, not his joints, not his tendons, ligaments as much. They're only supporting the muscle, but the muscle is doing most of the work. And that, that's what you would call a productive set. have physiques that have both types of, of, of that within it. Like there could be a, a mesoendomorph or a mesoectomorph, which are the type that have both characteristics in the same physique. So hopefully we'll have people here that I can show you what I'm trying to say. Like the gentleman over there standing now, mesoectomorph type, okay, which means it's got quite a slim structure, but his shoulders are not as narrow as they should be for an ectomorph, and he's not as tall, but the characteristics are the between the two. What are you training now? Okay, can we follow you and see what you're doing and we'll see how you do the setting now with okay? I'm going to ask you a question now. Why did you do so many reps? Um, 
due to a shoulder injury. I'm just okay. getting a pump at All the right. moment. If you have a shoulder injury, I'm going to give you an advice. Go okay. Ahead. Actually, the press behind neck exercise should be made illegal. Yeah. Yes. Because. I heard that a lot. No, because it's not a natural movement for the way our shoulders are built. Yeah. And because the problem we have is. The actual shoulder movement, press, the, the press movement is not the problem. The problem is your head is in the way. Yeah. So because you're using the bar, yeah. you have to move forward, which means you're, you're and because you're doing the movement full as well, which is good, you, the way your socket, the shoulder socket is in there, is not a natural movement. And you probably, a lot of injuries are happening, and a lot more injuries will be happening from press behind neck if people did it properly. But that exercise should never be done. It should be done to the front if you have to do it, which is more natural for the socket of our shoulders. But in, in true terms, it should be done with the dumbbells because our head is in the way. So if you have a shoulder problem, don't even go near that exercise. Okay? All right, going back to the ectomorphs and mesomorphs and the combination of the two, which this, my friend here is, is a, okay. Two reasons. The always the legs of a of a sorry, don't mind me touching you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the size of the legs as well are always slimmer on somebody that's an ectomorph. Usually ectomorph people are I mean really I should get you to take strip off and I can do it, but we don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Usually they have a, a, a they're taller, they have a, a longer face, narrow shoulders, long arms, long legs and not so long torso, okay? But because you are in between, you are a meso ecto, you got the benefit of your shoulders are not as narrow as they should be, you're, you're not as tall, but gaining muscle for you is probably a little bit harder than a person that's a mesomorph. Everything I say now and everything I do, I haven't read it anywhere, I haven't studied it, is through a pure observation and understanding and the amount of hours that I have spent in the gym and hopefully I'll have a, a, an e-book out not, not too long, I'm, I'm working on it now. We do with the dumbbells, try with the dumbbells, have the bench like this. How does that feel? So good. But you can see as well, you don't have to worry about your neck going like this, you don't have to worry, everything is the way it should be. Because you should concentrate on your shoulders and the shoulders are... Do you know how many people come to me nearly every day? Somebody will come and say, oh, I pulled my neck muscle. Before they even tell me how they pulled it, I said to them, well, you're doing press behind neck? And the answer is yes. Yeah. And that is a problem. It's happened to me, I've done... Everything I say about people doing things wrong, I have done it myself. So don't, I'm not trying to be clever because I have been there and I know what it's like. The problem is that I didn't find out the answers till I was too old. Coming next. It's time for Noratine Heavyweight 2, voted best muscle builder by various bodybuilding magazines. Noratine Heavyweight 2 will build muscle and get you strong very fast. It comes with LA Muscle's no questions guarantee. Order Noratine Heavyweight 2 now. Available exclusively from LAMuscle.com. Hi Chris. You doing legs yet? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Here we have Chris. Chris is an ectomorph, okay? And you can see from, from his head to his legs, okay? His, his shoulders are not very wide. His face is not round, it's a little bit longer. He's got quite long legs, quite long torso, long arms. And the reason why his arms are long is because when we go like this, this is our height. Usually, Ectomorph people shouldn't really do too much heavy squats. 
because of the way the body is, is they're working a bit of a disadvantage. Plus they can have more injuries. So they have to be more careful when it comes to squatting. And you can see it from your buttocks. Your buttocks are well developed. It's going more in your buttocks than it's going on your quads. For you, really, I would only squat for my buttocks. And then I would do leg press, but I would do the movements, or hack squats, mm -hmm. do the movements a lot more fuller. Make sure that you are coming a lot, lot lower. You know, um, because you wasn't even going parallel. I don't, I don't agree with people going below parallel when they're doing squats, because of the way the knee, the knee works. That's another issue. But on the leg press, it's much easier because it's easier to control the weight as you're coming down to come quite, you know, that, that far, that much distance that you can come lower will be about 80% of the thigh stimulation. So, but the difference is doing leg press won't stimulate your back talks as much. So I will still do some squats, but I will only do them for that reason, not for my thighs, because it's not going to really work on your thighs. And you can see most ectomorph of people um, they get involved in different sports as well. In long distance running, long jump, high jump, all that, because they find it easier to do that because of their body structure. And for building muscle, it's much harder. All the exercises you have to do, because you're an ectomorph, have to be 100% perfect compared to, say, like me, or the guy that we filmed earlier, the, the mess of off guy. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, okay. Because the thing, the heavier the weight, the bigger the muscles are going to get. If that was true, then everybody in this gym would be massive. You are what's called a mesoendomorph. You've never been like um, skinny, have you, in your life? No. You put on muscle quite easily. Okay. The movements that you're doing, the exercises, are because of your leverages are good. It's easier to put on muscle, like Herculean type physique. That's why I can put it. So you have to be careful um, not to do too many deadlifts, not to do too much abdominal work because those muscles have the tendency to grow easier. So you have to be careful not to stimulate them as much because they will grow. And you don't want your, your waist to become too thick. I'm not, I'm not talking about fat now, I'm talking about muscle because it takes away from your shoulders uh, the, the balance, you know, the, the aesthetic type of look. Um, the other problem people have when them, they have their, their back is the lats are quite high. So if you turn around, you see, you can see you have a quite development on your lats, but the muscle ends here. It's not low, so it's harder for you. So you have to be careful as well when you're doing back exercises. You're doing exercises that stimulate the lower lats more, which means Putting them in your bracket, those exercises will be anything that you do that's narrow grip. Usually anything that's narrow grip and to the waist, then your elbows go back that way, will hit your lower lats more. Contrary to the anything that is wide grip and it's overhead and you pull it, that will hit more your upper lats or bend over rows or things like that. So for you, I would recommend you do more narrow grip exercises for your back. And don't worry too much about your upper lats because they will develop anyway. I wouldn't recommend you doing deadlifts. I recommend you doing hyperextension so it only hits your lumbar region. And limit your abdominal core exercises to quite a, a minimum amount. Not do some, but don't overdo it. This is what you're going to do. See, I can see, I can see it actually working. I can see the lower lats coming in. Okay, perfect. Okay, 
good. Thank you very much. Okay. Hi Angie, what are you trying today? Legs? Using legs today. Okay. Angie is what would you call a mesomorph, okay? She has wide shoulders, small waist, the length between the legs and the torso are equal. And for her, you everything becomes easy. I don't mean easy, she trains really hard and she's been training very hard for years to keep the physique. How old are you now, Angie? 49. <laughs> and a 49. grandma of two. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so basically what we're going to do today, um, she's going to start with lunges, she's going to do lunges. Um, do, do the set the way you do it and okay. if, if you're not doing it right I will correct you. Tell me exactly now, where do you feel the stimulation? What, what part of your legs, your bum, what, what do you feel? I feel more on my quads and more on my glutes. You feel it, yeah, on your quads and your glutes. See, most people that are not your type of physique, say if they were ectomorph or maybe even endomorph, they wouldn't have been feeling, they would have been either been feeling their quads more, yeah. unless they're about toxin, maybe not at all, or yeah. the other way around. But for you, because of your type of physique and because of your leverages, you're feeling it on both. Always because, on my quads, because yep. Um, you gotta, what you gotta do is, if you're not feeling your back so much, you have, you know, when you lunge, you lunge a bit more further. More so so your your le your leg that is back is further back more, and that way you feel it more. The, the problem you have is because you've done it for so long, yeah, it's harder to get. Hard for me to no, always my my quads I feel more. No, but listen, you know if if you want to do it, okay, people doing walking lunges, which is a good exercise, is a functional exercise, but for pure true stimulation, I think it'd be better if you stand either with a free weight or on a Smith machine, because you're on the machine and you're balancing better, you can do what I just said easier and get a, a longer. Yeah. Um, step and that way you have more on your bum because mm. um, the, the thing is your bum is good your thighs are good you, you are stimulating them both yeah. but what I notice with you sometimes is that you're doing too many exercises and, and your leg workout is too long mm. and I think that sometimes might be holding you back so you have to adjust the volume of your workout maybe yeah because you know you because of your age as well you know next year. i know don't worry <laughs> i'll be 60 next year <laughs> you can't say if he says no i knock him out <laughs> i hope i'm not <laughs> up your workout but no, it's, no, don't worry you're going to be on telly so you're going to be on youtube and everywhere i mean really i should get you to take strip off and i can do it but we don't want to do that <laughs> You got the bag the wrong way. Sorry. The always the legs of a of a. Sorry, don't mind me touching you. Yeah. <laughs> You've never been like um, skinny, have you, in your life? No. 